Hello, hi. Is this hi. Elliot? And are you daddy? Yes, I'm dad. Hello. My name is Amin, I'm one of the children's doctors. Would it be okay with you if I had to look at Elliot and just yes. had to feel of his tummy? Certainly. Is that okay? Hi, sweetie. Hello. You're so lovely, aren't you? Oh, sweetie pie, he's so cute. I'm just going to start by just having a look around the room. We just check to see if there's any equipment or anything you've brought with you. Just have a look. Oh, he seems really happy there. Oh, sweetie pie. Okay. Can I take a look at your little hands? Is that all right? Oh, have you come on a day out with Daddy? Have you? What are his favourite things? Is he... Uh, cruising around furniture. Oh, has he started doing that? Yeah. Oh, lovely. I just want to know his blood pressure. Thank you. Can I look at your eyes? I'm just going to pull his eyelid down a little bit, if that's okay with you. Whoopee. Well done. Good work. Cruising around the furniture, eh? Are you causing carnage? Can we have a look in your mouth? Ah. Oh, you stuck your tongue out as well. That was very helpful. Thank you. I'm just going to move this pillow. Have you got his head? Yep. Right, I'm just going to have a little feel up here. A little feel up here. Well done. Can we have a look at your little chest? Well done. I'm just looking now at your tummy. Make sure there are no scars there. Can we have a look at the back? Can I just roll him? Yep. Well done. Nothing there. Dad, um, do you know him to be in any pain at the moment? No. All right, so I'm just going to have a feel of his tummy. And I'll keep a really close eye on him to make sure he's not in any pain at all. Oh, you little wriggler. Are you a little wriggler? Are you? Do you like your dummy? It's the same colour as your eyes, isn't it? He's got lovely eyes. Do you have any other children? Yes, I have a... Uh Another boy and a girl. Oh, wow. So you're busy, eh? Yeah, I'm busy. Sorry, sweetie pie. All right, can't press too hard there. Okay. Now I'm just going to feel a little bit deeper on this side just to feel if, there, if I can feel a little bit. Oh. Little tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap. Well done. Well done. Okay. I'm just about... Are you alright? Are you okay? Peekaboo! Hey! Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Are you hungry? Back. Ooh, have you got my card? Have you got my card? All right, good work. Well done. That's lovely. Can I listen to your tummy? Can we listen to see if it's making any gurgly gurgly noises? Are you pulling me? One second. You can have it now. There you go. All yours. Just going to have a little look at his ankles. Just give them a press. Okay. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Do you want to play with this as I talk to the examiner? Or I'll take it back later. So thank you for asking me to examine Elliot, who's a one-year-old boy. On examination, Elliot appeared to be well. He was not in any respiratory distress, and he seemed to be quite happy and pain-free at the moment. He did seem quite large for his age, and I would like to plot him on an appropriate growth chart. Um, on examination of his gastrointestinal system, he didn't have any clubbing, he did not have any palmar erythema or spidinevi or any other stigmata of chronic liver disease. Um, he... Uh, he did have um, slight plethoric cheeks, and I noted that he also had a nasogastric tube in situ. 
On examination of his abdomen, he, he did not have any pain. However, he did have a um, th three to four centimeter hepatomegaly, on, um, which was not um, tender. Um, he did not have any concurrent splenomegaly. Um, his bowel sounds were normal, and he did not have any peripheral edema. So in summary, this is a one-year-old boy who appears to be well today. He's got um, a three-centimeter hepatomegaly and a nasogastric feed, and he's slightly large for his age. Okay. Right, so you mentioned that he had hepatomegaly. So what do you know that can cause that Sure. So um, the differentials for hepatomegaly include infection with viruses such as hepatitis B, C, or Epstein-Barr virus. Um, hepatomegaly can also be due to um, primary neoplasms of the liver or secondary to um, uh, malignancy elsewhere, such as in leukemia or lymphoma. Um, you can also get hepatomegaly in infiltrative diseases, such as fatty infiltration and cystic fibrosis. And you can also get it in um, storage disorders and in congestive cardiac failure. Okay, and how would you go about doing the investigation? So say you were seeing him in the clinic, you're trying to work out why he's got this big liver. Sure. So um, after doing a thorough examination, including a cardiovascular and a respiratory examination, I'd first start off with some blood tests. Um, I do uh, bloods for infections, including hepatitis A, B, C, and EBV. I would also want to do a full blood count, looking for his cell counts and doing a f uh, blood film to look for any um, blasts or any signs of a, a malignancy. And I would also want to do a met metabolic um, screen, which would include um, ammonia, lactate, and um, uh, urine amino acids, and um, urine organic acids as well. And finally, I would also consider doing a liver ultrasound and referring him, um, if no obvious cause was found, referring him to a tertiary center, where they may also consider doing a liver biopsy. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.